PUK World Grand Prix 2016, ladies and gentlemen, next fight. PUK World Grand Prix quarterfinal fight. Blue corner, fighter from Belarus, Pavel Turu. KUK World Grand Prix 2016, ladies and gentlemen, next fight. KUK World Grand Prix quarterfinal fight. Blue corner, fighter from Belarus, Pavel Turu. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Red Corner, fighter from Romania, Daniel Alexandru. So fight number five on your fight program, 11 in the total number of fights we've had tonight. But in the second half, we have our quarterfinal. Fighters here, the first one already in the ring, representing Belarus, Pavel Turuk in the blue corner. Again, another featured fighter of KOK. And facing him, a man coming in to the red corner from Romania. Daniel Alexandru. So, a very much anticipated fight from a few people. So Pavel Turuk from Belarus, another fabulous fighting nation. This is the Romanian Daniel Alexandru. This is going to be a good fight. Anticipation is here because a lot of people want to see this fight. There on the table, guys, Mr. Pavel Zurelev, KOK heavyweight champion, the promoter, Donatus Simonatus, and the promoter for here in Moldova, Mr. Dorin Adamir. On the table also, we have Benny Adagbui, who is from Romania, who is watching this tonight. He'll be featured soon on the King of Kings show later this year. So, 
anticipated fireworks light the blue touch paper stand back and off they go Pavel Turuk in the blue corner with the brown and gold shorts or bronze and gold in the red corner we have the red gloves with black white and green shorts Daniel Alexandru from Romania the 27 year old 183 centimeters He's had 23 fights, 17 wins, 6 losses. Got Pavel Turuk. The 30-year-old. 180 centimetres. And at the moment, sorry, I missed the fight record. I have got it in front of me. So... A solid start from both athletes, combatants, gladiators and warriors. All befitting names for these guys who get inside of those four ropes and don the gloves. And they go for it with burst shin and knee. The only thing that's covered up is the hands. Well, fast kicks from the onset here from these two. Ooh, eats the shin, walks through it and lands a kick of his own. So, two minutes in of this first round. Of this eight-man tournament. Going through already tonight, we've had Stanislav Zanuski from Poland goes through to the semi-finals. As does KO Igor Lyapin. He won in the thing was a second round with a stoppage. He goes into the final. The third was Orel Ignat from Moldova. And this, our fourth and final fight in the middleweight King of Kings eight-man tournament. Quarterfinals. One of these two will go through to the semis, which will be in, I believe, in September in Tallinn, Estonia. There's a beautiful shot of the ring. King of Kings, the square ring in association with FEA and Eagles. Here at this World Grand Prix show. World Grand Prix World Series, Manage Sports Arena, Kishno, Moldova. So, what a nice three minutes taster of these two fabulous fighters. What will round two bring us? Pavel Torek in the blue, Daniel Alexandro in the red. Nice kick and a hook punch simultaneous. Daniel rushes in. Oof. Takes a shin and a right hand. Wobbles him. Whoa, look at this! Wow! Fireworks, like I said, like the blue touch paper, it's going off! <laughs> Fantastic! Whoa! Well, Pavel is under pressure here from the Romanian. Wow, look at this! This is what King of Kings K1 kickboxing is all about. Fast, furious, kicks, punches and knees at its best. King of Kings in the square ring, wow. Bish, bosh, bash.
explosive. Spinning back fist a little bit more on the forearm than the glove. Well, what a great matchup as all of these fights have been here tonight. And it's all about the matchmaking. I keep saying that because it's true. Any promoter will tell you the same thing. Put two fighters in of even stature. Oof, nice right hand. Two fighters, like I said, of equal stature. And it makes for a great fight. Styles make fights and every fighter tonight has brought their own style and way. Oh, and we have a cut there. Is it just behind the ear? So first blood goes to Daniel Alexandro. Solid shots for the Belarus guy is made of Belarusian concrete. And he's taking Pavel. Sorry, Daniel's strikes really well. Pavel is still coming forward. But Daniel Alexandro is on a mission. The Romanian is wanting to get through to the semi-finals. And he's doing his best right now to get there. But the man in front of him that's stopping him, that's not allowing him to pave the way, is Pavel Turuk. So there we go, two rounds in. But the corner needs to go to work on that ear. It's like it splits just behind the ear. Well, the war cry of Daniel Alexandru screams in Romanian. Ah, come on. Hey, fish, hey. bosh, bash, look at that. Right kick, right hand. Spinning back fist this time lands. Overhand right, takes the low kick. So here we go, we've had two great rounds, six minutes, three left. A real good fight on paper and a great fight inside the ring for real. The real deal here at King of Kings in Moldova. The promoters should be absolutely buzzing with this because the matches have been outstanding. Best of the best. Mr. Dorin Damir, Mr. Donatos Simonatos. It's at ringside on the top table with two great fighters with them. Pavel Zurlev, special guest, and Benny Adeg Buye from Romania, the giant. Stands at two meters. Well, uh, tried, to, uh, <laughs> tried to do a leg sweep. <laughs> Not MMA. So one minute gone of round three, two left. Unless there's a stoppage. Keep your eyes wide open. So, fighter being worn of spinning around. I'm going to turn you back if you're going to do a spinning technique, like a spinning back fist, spinning back kick, spinning hook kick, that type of thing. Other than that, always face your opponent. Keep yourself protected at all times. The basic rules of engagement. So, last minute now. Testing times for both fighters as they dig deep. 
very even round so far in round three. First round even, second round I would give it to the Romanian. Third round, it's even so far, unless things change in this last 30 seconds. It could end up being an extra round. It's one of those fights. So 20 seconds left now. Both fighters feeling the pace and they have both absolutely gone for gold and give 100%. And if it did, oh, the referee only takes one. <laughs> Andre Grosso, good job, he's a fighter himself and trainer. So they go for a real whack off in the last 10 seconds. Both fighters feeling the pace now. There we go, what a great fight. Wow, tough one for the judges. What's your opinion? Here we see some of the action from that last round. Push kick to the face. Well, my fellow commentator from Poland's just done the two hands together as you touch the fingers, which means we see it even. That's why he's seen it, that's how I saw it. I said it could go an extra round. But perhaps, and only perhaps, the second round, I spotted a little chink in the Belarusian armor. They both got their hands up. Unanimous. Well, there is a winner. Yeah. Well, I said it. I thought it was close, but I just think it was one on the second round. I give it a 10-10 round one, a 10-10 round three, but a 10-9 round two. Um, there's the gentleman in the ring, the giant I told you about from Romania, who's in with his fellow fighter. Benny. Adek Buye from Romania, the giant. Stands at two meters. Well, what a great fight. Commiserations to Pavel Turuk, but Daniel Alexandru pulled it off. For me, I think round two did the do. Another great fight here at King of Kings in Moldova. Mane Sports Arena, Kishnau, King of Kings.